Um, so if you guys have been um, following our stories you know that I received this TLM foundation. Now um, Karen and I both got it and we were going to do a review in our next beauty video. Please excuse me because I've had my makeup off and I've redone foundation. Um, Karen and I were going to review this in um, our next beauty video but because I'd posted about it I kind of actually just wanted to let you know what my thoughts were on it. So Karen hasn't tried it yet. Um, but to be honest with you, don't buy this. It is an absolute waste of money and it is utter lies. So I have put it on my, so I've tried it out over the past couple of days. I've done a, a day of my normal wake, makeup and then I've used this and then I did another day of my normal makeup um, and I've asked a few people um, that have been around me what did they think versus the different days. Um, I do not like this. This is nonsense. I wouldn't even call it a foundation to be honest with you. Um, so I'll talk you through the things that I don't like about it um, and then it's up to you if you decide that you want to buy it. So the whole point of this foundation is that it's supposed to change colour to your individual skin tone. So it's supposed to basically take away the whole thing that you need to buy your shade of foundation. Um, so that was what was so intriguing and I think that's what so many people have been interested in. Um, on first go of using it, now the smell of it is quite overwhelming. I would say it smells like a cream um, and it is quite creamy um, so it's almost as if whatever it is that's in it is just in a cream and so when it comes out I'll show you it's looks it looks white but actually if you look closely at it I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the camera no I don't think it'll but actually there are tiny tiny little specks of color in it now my belief having tried this out is that there is a colour in there um, and so that bursts out but I do not believe that it adjusts to your skin tone in any way I do not think that that colour changes I think that it stays the one colour and that it is just some form of kind of powder foundation suspended in cream I th I, that is my belief and that when you mix it you are literally just mixing the ingredients and then that's what give you, gives you the colour to be honest with you that is my opinion so um, I'm going to um, put it on one half of my face and then I'm going to show you my MAC foundation and the coverage that I get from that um, and you guys can make your own um, decisions around it I did already <laughs> so because I didn't think that, I wasn't convinced that it was actually changing colour to my skin tone. I fake tanned my hand. Now this is waterproof tan for anybody who's commenting on me putting the foundation on top of it. Okay, I've already put the foundation on top of it and I'm sure you can already see the area, the patch that I put the foundation on. So it is a lot lighter than the rest of my hand. I am not convinced that this works for every... Um, for every shade and I don't think it adjusts to your skin tone at all but anyway I for me I was kind of like mm, you know it does it you know it sits on my face so I'm obviously quite fair um in terms of my skin so for me the color is maybe not that bad a match um but what I would say is is that it's it's also about the quality of the found the foundation and I'm saying foundation because I don't really believe that this is foundation. I think that this is either a moisturiser, um, it's some form of cream with the um, the powder in it. So I'm gonna put it on. How it tells you well how you're supposed to put it on apparently, which is you just mix it round. So I don't know if you can really see it all that clear, but to me it's not really changing the colour of my skin tone, it's not giving massive coverage. Um, I'd say that it is if you wanted something that's de that's really light on your skin. There's other products out there that would give you light coverage like this, like a tinted moisturiser. That's more like what it is. It, it, the smell of it is so creamy, it's, <laughs> there's a sweetness to it. It doesn't smell like foundation to me, not normal foundation anyway. Um, okay, so. That is it on this side of my face. I would say you can still see the redness that I usually get on my cheeks. 
I don't think I've got full coverage. It's quite um, creamy on the skin. Maybe it just needs a little time to um, settle in. But what I'll do is I'll go ahead and do my MAC foundation. And we can see the difference in those two. Okay, so this is my usual MAC foundation, which is the Pro Longwear Foundation. And it is in colour MW22. So this is what I wear every day. Okay. So, and again, I'm just going to use the same technique to put it on so that we can really compare how they stand up against each other. I'm not worrying about my eyebrows too much because they're half off already. Okay, so I'm going to try and make the light better so that you can really see the difference. Um, so I think you can see that both sides of my face look very different. This one is a lot more matte. Um, I feel like there's more coverage. It's an even tone. Here I would say there is not a lot of coverage. Um, it's quite shiny looking still. It's still quite wet um, and it is not covered up my red spots that I you, that, which is why I use foundation because my cheeks get quite red um, so yeah so there is a big difference now in terms of comparing it to MAC that's just the foundation that I use every, every day so that is why I've compared it to that um, but yeah I really don't rate this product at all so besides from the fact that I believe it's an absolute load of nonsense that this changes to the colour of your face I think it's absolute lies. Even so, even on the packaging, almost some of the sentences didn't make sense. Um, so I'll I'll read it out to you. Um, foundation color changing and adjusting naked. That's what it says here. So that is what that says. So foundation color changing and adjusting naked and adjusting naked. What does that mean? I don't even know what that means. Um, all day flawless, lit from within, complexion, perfectly flawless finish. It does have SPF 15 on it. Um, so let's see, so the, here's another thing that annoys me and I just don't know if it's because, so I believe this is, um, I think it's made in China. So this is something that annoyed me when I read it and I kind of just brushed it off in the hopes that maybe it would be a good product and it would work. Um, but foundation with co resistium lechnology. I'm assuming that that is supposed to say technology. I have no idea. Um, and Hydra Luminous Complex fights the signs of makeup meltdown. Pizult, a luminous complexion looks freshly applied all day long lasts up to 16 hours so i thought that it was maybe um like the uh, like the black bit that is actually making up the, the letters had maybe come off and that maybe it was supposed to say technology and result instead of puzzle but i took car inside the packaging and it also says that technology and puzzle so <laughs> I don't even think that it's a quality product and that they can't even spell words right on it. You know, I mean, and, and this, that sentence just doesn't make any sense. So my official review on this, we were, as I say, going to do a whole video, but I felt almost that because I posted that, that we got it, um, I didn't want anyone to go and waste their money on this. So please, please, please do not purchase this. Do not waste your money. It is an absolute waste of time, money. Don't put it on your skin because God knows what the hell is in it because they're lying about what it does. And if they're lying about what it does, then they could be lying about what the hell is in it and what it could do to your skin. Um, so yeah, my opinion is there are lots of better foundations out there. Um, if you don't want to spend as much on um, more expensive brands like MAC and things like that, then don't. There's great ones that you can get from um, Super Drug and Boots that are of a higher quality. Anything is better than this, to be honest with you. Um, and Karen, so I brought Karen a foundation back from um, Kuala Lumpur that is from Sephora and it's Sephora's own make. So she's going to do a review of that um, to let you guys see how that was. 
we'll do other foundations um, in the future. Don't buy this, it's a load of rubbish. Alright, thanks for watching guys, bye!